Dear neighbors, please stop pooping on my toilet seat. Dear neighbors, please stop peeing on my toilet seat. Your menstrual blood, your puke, your pee is something I don't want to see. So please, please stop pooping on my toilet seat. Today's message is about disgusting people that have lived in my dorms and currently live in my dorms and I don't know who you are but you know who the fuck you are who make a mess of the bathroom in the most disgusting way possible possible okay so I, ha I have a shameful confession to make which is that even though I know you know um people's butts are like like your butt is just about as dirty as you know your elbow your hands are dirtier than your butt but, but, but not intended, um, people, people in my dorm filth up the toilet seats so much that now any time that I am not in a private bathroom that I have cleaned myself, I use a toilet seat cover because people are fucking disgusting and that's embarrassing, but it's not my fault. It's your fault, toilet seat poopers. It's your fault. Let's get started on some on some shit I've seen. Ha, huh, other pun definitely intended. I live right next door to a bathroom over here. I know when all my neighbors are pooping. I can hear them do it. I can hear them use a paper towel dispenser. I know what you're doing in there. First thing, pee. Boys, men, penis havers, non-identifying, non-gender binary people who have a penis and also pee standing up. Anyone who pees standing up anyone at all, regardless of your possession of a penis. I suppose it's all also toilet seat hoverers. Vagina having toilet seat hoverers are also guilty of leaving pee on the seat. Please, please, if you piss and you miss the toilet seat and you sprinkle when you tinkle, be a sweetie and wipe the seaty. Too many times I walk into the bathroom and there's just these little stray dots on the seat. You know how easy it is to clean this up? I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. So what you do, pretend this is toilet paper, and pretend this is the toilet seat, watch. Um, actually my boyfriend, when he moved into his current dorm, he, his old roommates who don't live there anymore, his new ones are awesome and like clean and not disgusting, but the old ones pissed so much all over the toilet seat that it was like encrusted in pee. It was like a crusty yellow piss thrown to the piss gods of golden shower heaven. Like, I don't know what was going on in there. I don't know what they were thinking. I, I'm gonna put a link to pictures in the description because it was just beyond disgusting. Beyond disgusting, if we're being real. And like one time, the, the toilet's right here, okay? Some guy turned 90 degrees and from penis height down on the wall, there was this little yellow dribble. I don't know how that got there. I don't fucking know. Why did he do that? Why did he not clean up? The world will never know the answer. If you cannot make it into the toilet, maybe you need to sit down. Sit down, maybe. Please, please. Okay, next thing let's talk about. Period blood. <laughs> yes, menstruating people. I have seen this too many times, and I don't know why <laughs> vagina-having, menstruating people have this tendency to just leave blood everywhere. Like, do you not turn around and look at the toilet before you flush it? Do you just, like, are you so scared of bathrooms that you, like, sit down and, like, smear around, and then you just, like, go, 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 and you run out, like, without washing your hands or anything, or checking to see your pee or what? I don't know. Do you? Do you? I don't know. But it's gross. Can we all be adults and just... Take a little teepee, wipe that shit up, take a little bleachy, t -t -t please clean it. Please, please. Next thing on the list is pubes. Like, lately I have been seeing pubes on like every toilet seat I go to. I, I'm i down with pubes, pubes are totally cool. Have all the pubes you want. This is, have a little pube forest, have a gathering of pubes, but don't leave your pube forest on the toilet seat that I have to poop on. <laughs> Stop. This is the easiest one to clean up because all you have to do is here's your little toilet seat and here's your little pube. Here you go. <laughs> and it's gone and no one else has to see it or know that someone else is sitting on the toilet because obviously when we go poop we need to pretend like no one else in the history of time has ever pooped on this toilet or else it's way too gross and we would just poop in bags and throw it away in our trash can and that would just be awful. <clears throat> oh, sorry. 
it. The, the, the last thing that I need to talk about is probably the grossest, is in this very bathroom that I live next to, right fucking here, okay? People have been shitting on the toilet seat, really shitting on it. Like here's the toilet seat and here's the poop on the back. It's just smeared all over the back of the toilet seat, like gross. Another time someone had like explosive diarrhea and just like the whole back was just sprayed. It was fucking gross. I even have a childhood memory of being in a public restroom and seeing someone who had like explosively wet hot chili sprayed the whole toilet and it's just fucking gross but the fact that it happens here in my very dorm in my very bathroom that I use is just beyond disgusting if you poop on the toilet seat you need to be an adult go to your room get your cleaning supplies if you don't have cleaning supplies walk for a box to the grocery store buy them and clean that shit up it's rude to leave it for the cleaning lady and it's disgusting to leave it for other people Ugh. and honestly i don't know how well the cleaning lady cleans the bathroom anyway so i always use the toilet seat covers anyway now because i know neighbors people you've been shitting on the toilet and not cleaning up after yourself and that's gross last thanksgiving i got so sick like I was exploding out both ends. I was so sick that I had to grab bags out of the sanitary napkin disposal thing next to the toilet and puke in them while I was exploding out my ass. At the same time, I puked on the floor, I puked on my shoes, I puked on everything. Even though I felt like I was gonna die, I went and I got my little sicky <laughs> and I got my clean spine <laughs> and I cleaned up after myself because as much as it sucks to be sick, it's even worse to leave your bodily fluids around for other people to see. And I pride myself on even being shit-faced drunk, beyond ill, whatever, always cleaning up after myself. Because we're adults. Mommy and Daddy aren't here to wipe our butts anymore, and they really shouldn't be. <laughs> so yeah, that's my rant about what my neighbors do to the toilets. Uh -huh. Please share your disgusting toilet stories down below because I would love to commiserate with you guys. I would love it. I'll leave you on this note. Dear neighbors, please stop pooping on my toilet seat.